everybody, Rose Matter here. Welcome back to part 29 of my Dankenropa Trigger Happy Havoc Let's Play. And I am super excited for this episode. I hope you guys are too. We are getting into the last class trial of the game. I am so hyped and a little nervous. I can't wait for everything to come together and hopefully I can figure out what is going on in this game. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, here we go. Last time we see this red door, I'm assuming. Let's get this over with. I am excited to find all the answers, hopefully, to the school, because I am no closer to knowing anything, to be honest. I guess I'm the first one this time. Makoto. You're early, Makoto. Listen. Does that mean you feel prepared? Yeah, for now at least. I shouldn't be surprised she's the first one here. But where's everyone else? Why aren't they here yet? However. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll be here soon. And just like she said... Byakia! Uh, Byakia? Oh, that's right, because of Monokuma. Now everyone distrusts me. They probably think I'm the one who's in charge of... Who did all of this. Ah, it's gonna be so frustrating going into this where it's just like, I feel like... Kind of, Kyoko's the only one on my side. Everyone else suspects me. They arrived, one after another. But they were all in the same state. Uh, sorry, they were all in the same state of shock. Oh boy, she looks really pissed. Hina, Hero. Oh, did something else happen? Why? Okay, I don't like this at all. Silence, and it wasn't any normal silence. It was the deafening silence of fear and suspicion. It was like the first class trial. You called for me. And I'm late. <laughs> ah, strong, fire. silent master. So wonderful. So cool. So hot. My loins are ablaze. Yes. Please never say loins again, Toko, please. Now listen, everything will be just fine if you just leave it to me. My beautiful scissors! With my scissor sharp scissors in hand, I'll stab and gouge and shiv the master of evil. But I thought you couldn't kill anyone but adorable little boys. <laughs> If it's what Master wants, it can be boy, girl, or anything in between. I can handle it. Uh, where am I? No human language can describe the disappointment I'm feeling right now. Is everyone here? Ooh, and wearing our gloomy Gus faces, I see. This is exactly what he wants. He wants us to be suspicious, and he wants us to, like, not trust each other. Well now. Okay, well then, let's begin. Thrills, chills, kills. This final class trial is going to be slather than pitch black despair. Climaxum sorrow. Climaximum sorrow, sorry. That's fine. You're right, this is the final class trial, and this time it'll be fair. What do you mean, this time? Stop with all the slander. I'm a bear in good standing, you know? If there was a Mr. Fair Guy universe contest, I'd take home the TR every year. I'm gonna win this game super fair and square. Today, and I'm I'll make sure everyone right. watching at home knows that despair is mightier than to hope. Stop talking. Enough of your tedious drivel. Begin the trial already. <laughs> sure, sure. Let's begin the trial already. I'll be waiting for you down below. You guys. So don't try and run away. <laughs> Laughing as loud as ever, Monokuma disappeared. I guess he figures if uh, the class trial has to be fair, he's at least going to make us doubt each other to give himself an edge. Hmm, whatever. In the name of this will be family. over in no time. Uh, they all suspect me. With an inexplicable confidence, Byakuya was the first into the elevator. One by one, the others followed. <sighs> I don't like her looking at me like that. Nobody made eye contact. Nobody said a word. They just disappeared into the elevator. Hey. They're all acting odd. Like they're paranoid, suspicious of each other. However. But you know why that is, don't you? Yeah, I think so. However. Well, you can tell us all about it soon. At the class trial. You're right. I'm ready. So... Ready to win, right? Yeah, Kyoko. I need you smiling right now, girl. I need someone to be, like, believing in me. Of course. I'm glad to hear you say that. And then Kyoko was aboard the elevator. Alright, let's do it. Let's get this over with. 
I started making my way toward the opening, step after step toward that gaping maw. I'd resolved that this would be the last time. I repeated to myself that there was no fear, no mystery left. I pushed the anxiety down, calmed my trembling body, and finally on steady legs. I passed the threshold and stood in the elevator. Oh, this has got to be the most awkward elevator ride ever. Without warning, it began to descend. Deeper and deeper. Deeper, deeper, deeper still. Deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper. Oh my god, when you say a word over and over, it doesn't even look or sound like a word anymore. Deeper and deeper it fell. I closed my eyes and sight fell away. All sound, too, disappeared. Alone in the universe, I waited for the elevator doors to open for the last time. What could have been seconds or centuries later, I felt the gentle vibration of the elevator come to an end. I slowly opened my eyes. Ah, yeah, this isn't very cheery at all. This is the final trial site. And then you've got like the, the TVs everywhere. Wonderful. What do you think? Isn't it just the perfect background for deciding a person's fate? Yahoo! It's the long awaited last stage, the always exciting final boss battle. <laughs> and I'm gonna sit in on this one. I'll just sit right here in the vacant 16th seat. Well then, Kills! let's begin! Alright, got my skills picked. Figure I'll show you guys this time. I always skip this, but I just want to show you what I do have picked here. So there we go, got that. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I mean, I do know, but let's do it. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Let's hope I don't totally butcher this one. Since this will be the final class trial, uh -oh. I've come up with a special rule. It's never a good thing. So listen up. If you can figure out Mukuro's killer and go on to solve the mystery of this school, you guys win. But if you can't, then I win. Well, this we already knew. He already told us this. But I guess this is kind of his first time telling everybody. And of course, waiting for the loser is the super exciting, super heart-pounding punishment! Are you saying that if you lose, you'll execute yourself? Yep, sure will. Yeah, why can't I trust a word he says? Why do I have a feeling that no matter what I do, this is gonna end badly? And that's final? No loopholes? No wiggling out of it later? Yeah, except Monokuma, we've learned, is like a... He's a robot or a puppet or something. So does it really matter if he executes himself? Of course not. Bears never go back on their word. Never mind all that. I just have one question for you. Oh, you're taking this serious, huh? Are you feeling okay? Is the mastermind only one person? Ah, Hero actually did a good. Gold sticker hero. Mm -hmm. Don't bother. I already know the I'm answer. waiting for him to like completely go back and say something dumb. You're all the uh, You're all I take the sticker away, hero. I'm right, aren't I? I knew it. I gave him too much credit there. <laughs> You guys have all been working together, haven't you? I have evidence, so I know I'm right. I feel like Hero's always the first one to say oh, something, no, and it's always we have to dispute You're something right stupid. I'm sure oh no, Hina's doing it too. I Everyone is super paranoid right now. What a coincidence. I too have evidence to present. Evidence that proves everyone other than me has been working together. Oh. W what? Wait, oh, so Monokuma must have given them sense. all different stuff to I make them all paranoid? Each have that kind of evidence. Okay. All three of them think everyone around them is their enemy. There's no doubt this is a trap Monokuma set. He set it up so we would suspect each other. And I have something that proves it. Do I? Okay, you Headmaster's e handbook. Together, Group photo. Places so to check. Okay, let me go in and, uh... Oh, yeah, what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> Can you tell I'm a little, uh, little, little sloppy here? <laughs> I meant to check the 
um, evidence not do that. Okay. Okay, I don't know what that would have to do with what they're saying. I doubt that they know that we have the e-handbook. So there's the group photo. Oh, okay. It's probably this then. Well, this one's easy enough. I have evidence of my own. What a coincidence. Evidence that proves everyone other than... What? This doesn't make any sense. How can the three of us each have that kind of Go, 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 go. Ah, dang it. You guys have all been working together. I have evidence. Hey, you said you're all out to get me. I have evidence. What a coincidence. Evidence that proves every... What? This doesn't make any sense. How can the three of us each have that kind of... That there we go. No, Gotta remember wrong. to use my concentration. Especially for those tricky ones like that. It's not just you three. I have evidence too. What? You too? The evidence you're all referring to is this group photo, right? Well, well yeah. Huh? Wait, but mine's different. Ah. Did Monokuma really not think that we weren't gonna, like, you know, figure this out? With the picture you have, I'm in it. Oh, okay. That can't be right. Because in my picture. Oh, they're all different, and Makoto's in it. Not in it. Okay. Hold on, I just want to take a look, because I'm like, I'm always about seeing the new pictures. <laughs> Sakura in the back, yes. What a beast. R.I.P. Sakura, I miss you so much. And then there is uh, Mukuro, just in the same picture, she always looks exactly the same. I figured as much, in which case... Hero, you have a picture too, right? Let's see it. Okay, but be careful with it. It's pretty important evidence. This one too, it's just like I thought. So the secret in these pictures has been revealed. Secret or whatever. Okay, Monokuma obviously has more up his sleeve this than together. this. That's why I'm the only one missing. Oh my god, hero. But you're in my picture. You're the ones trying to trick me. Although it seems to be working because they're still like not getting it. So the whole purpose behind these photos was to get us questioning and fighting with each other. The mastermind laid a trap to make us each think everyone else was working against us. Huh? I laid a trap? A trap? How rude! What grounds do you have for such audacious accusations? The proof I need to reveal Monokuma's trap. Each photo has a certain something in common. There's a connection regarding what person isn't shown in the group photos. And that person is... A gun! All right, once case, again, lulling us, lulling me into a false sense of security, like, it. super easy, but I imagine it's gonna get insane later. So, in the picture I got, I'm the only one missing. In the picture Hina got, she's the only one missing. And in the picture Hero got, he's the only one missing. As long as we're talking about it, I suppose. Oh yeah, that's I right. Byakuya hasn't showed well. his photo. In other words, Monokuma gave each of us a group photo in which that person wasn't included. And when we each saw our picture, we just assumed everyone else was the enemy. <laughs> Figured it out. Yeah, I mean, he knew. Like he knew we were gonna figure this out quickly. Yeah, I thought that must be it. But how was that a hit? But you know, there might be more to this than just Monokuma trying to confuse us. There's something else that bothers me about everyone's photos. What is it? What's digging at me? Listen, can I see everyone's group photo one more time? I'm not quite sure. I hope I can figure it's it out. It's not directly connected to what we're talking about, but I'd like to double check something. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm sure there's something unusual about these group photos. What is it? I need to compare each of them one more time. Okay. Yakia's picture. 
Ah, oh, Zakura again. She's the best part of all of these pictures. I didn't really get a chance to see this one very, very well. Okay. Hina's picture. Hero's picture. And mine. There's something strange about all of them. Something I can't quite pin down. Oh, I'm a little con- I don't- I'm not quite sure. Something... Hmm. Did you just forget about the photo already? Ugh. Trying to trick me with such an obviously fake photo? I'm still pissed about that. And on top of that... We're gonna get back to that, I assume. all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching uniforms. Hmm? So you think they're fake? <laughs> no, no, no. I assure you, they're quite real. Hmm. What are you talking about? There's no way Well, we do know according to the videos that apparently we've been at the school before. Yeah. I don't remember ever taking a picture like that. So it's got to be a fake. I'm sure of it. But you know, can we really be so sure? Huh? Don't get me wrong. I don't remember taking this picture either. But is that really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? What do you mean? The reason I don't remember this picture isn't necessarily because it's fake. There might be some other reason. Oh, the amnesia, right. Some terrible reason. An unbelievable but entirely horrifying reason. Yep, yep, there we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Come on, give me that. Hey. Now I understand. Let's say that somehow we'd all lost our memories. That could uh, explain. I wonder if they're going to buy this though. They're probably going to be like you're insane. Oh, I get it. So we all just lost our <laughs> memories at the same time. And Except for about Hero, that seems totally fine. Yeah, okay, Looks never like mind. <laughs> such an unbelievable occult type story. Yeah, we all lost our memories. That's just crazy. No, I had them on my side for a second and I lost them. It's only natural that they wouldn't believe it. But no matter how much they refuse, if that's the absolute truth, they have no choice. We can't move forward until they accept it. And there's another way to prove it besides those pictures. Uh, okay. Oh boy. Oh wow. Oh wow, there's a lot here. Okay. Well, yeah, well, it's got to be the DVD. Assuming it works, because Monokuma did say, like, oh, it looks like the DVD player broke, so I wonder if he's going to let me play it. Ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. So the idea that we all lost our memories is totally stupid, obviously. All right, well, at least so far, they're only giving me one, like, thing to, uh, to have to dispute, You're so that's good. Okay, so I have to... Amnesia? Since when did this turn into some kind of sci-fi There we go. I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. Ever since I got to this school... All right, so right I here. everything that's happened. No, it's wrong. Those photos aren't the only things that point to the possibility. I really of hope loss. Monokuma actually lets me be able to play the video because otherwise they just they just have to take my word for it. This DVD does the same thing. You're not gonna show us something indecent, are you? Oh, you'd love that, Toko. <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. It's a video of all of us being interviewed by the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster. When you say all of us. You mean... I mean all of us, including you. You lie! I never did any kind of interview. No, it's not a lie. Just watch the DVD and you'll yeah, see for yourself. Yeah, I, I also got Kyoko on my side, that's right. Hopefully they'll listen to her more than me. 
the headmaster did in fact interview you. What are you saying? I didn't imagine you would remember. It's not about whether or not I remember. You expect me to believe all this? That I... I lost my memory somehow? Well, we don't have any way to refute it, so we Look have at no all the TVs behind us. Come on, reality. let's just play it on one of those. How can you say that? We're talking about living, breathing amnesia here. To be honest, I have something else on my mind right now. Oh man, can we not focus on this? Something else? You said the DVD contains recordings of us being interviewed by the headmaster, right? What were the interviews about? The headmaster sat each of us down, one at a time, and asked us the same question. He asked us if we could accept the idea of spending the rest of our lives in this school. What kind of question is that? And how did we answer? We'd say no, obviously. Actually, we all said we could. Even me, I heard myself say yes. I could spend the rest of my life at this school. Why? Why would you say yes to something Yeah, like I want to know that too, if we were under some sort of like, I don't know, mind control or something? That seems a little out there, but all of this is out there. I don't know. I don't remember a thing. The same goes for everyone else. Nobody remembers. You don't remember choosing to live here forever or even talking to the headmaster about it at all. It doesn't matter if I remember or not. Even if I bought the whole amnesia thing, the idea that I would want to live here forever? That's just insane! How can I believe that? Insane or not, we can't move forward until you accept it. Am I right? You sure are! Oh, no, wow. True. And then again, I mean, the fact that Monokuma let me watch that in the first place, he's planned all this. This was all, this is all probably going exactly how he wants it to go. What? What? <laughs> I know it sounds absurd, but if it's the truth, there's nothing we can do about it. Indeed. We only have one path in front of us. Then, <laughs> really? Yep, you all totally lost your memory at the same time. This is all... Making my head hurt. Me too, Hina, me too. That's basically like the synopsis of this entire game is my head hurts. <laughs> this isn't like some normal kind of memory loss. You stole those specific memories from us, didn't you? Oopsie! You figured that part out too, huh? Of course. There's no way we would all just happen to get amnesia at the same time. <sighs> How could someone just steal our memories? How? Come, 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 that hardly matters No, that right matters now. a lot. I am very curious about that. If I said it was hypnotism, would you believe me? Or we opened up your skulls and messed with your brains? Would you really believe anything I said? How it happened doesn't matter right now. What matters is figuring out what memories you took from us. That's what you're trying to say, right? <laughs> I knew I could count on you. The interview with the headmaster... Taking that group photo, those can't be the only memories we lost. Hmm. There must have been a purpose to it all. A reason for taking away our memories. Oh, I just can't wait to figure all this out. Of course there was a purpose. It all has to do with the original motive. The original motive. You mean the motive you came up with to try and get us to all kill each other? That has something to do with the memories you stole from us? <laughs> it sure does. Once again with this game, I just have more questions than answers at this point. But that part's still a secret. Anyway, I'm sure it's not easy, but let's all focus on the class trial for the murder of oh, yeah, that <laughs> That's right, we gotta figure that out too on top of everything else. Okay, so you want us to figure out who killed her before we do anything else. So until we do that... Well, either way, we have to explain every last remaining mystery. So, the one who killed Mukuro, the true mastermind, that's what we need to expose. And that's another thing, even with this being the second class trial for the same person, I am still no closer to knowing who killed her. I have no idea. So who did it? Who killed her? Whoever did it is the same one who's behind everything. That much I'm sure of. But when you think 
think about it. Is the mastermind really here in the school? Of course. They have to be here somewhere. What makes you so sure? Um... Hina, you were right there with me. It was the control exactly. room. You're just making stuff up. There's no way No, Hina, come on. Here. The mastermind is probably a million miles away. His masterminds always lurk off in the background, right? Okay, so there's a couple of choices it could be. I'm positive they're somewhere in this school. Otherwise, there's no way they could have controlled that machine. Okay, so there was so the one thing it? about uh, somewhere in the school. I think that might be it. Whoever did it is the same one who's behind. I think it was Hina who said that. Of course, they have to be here somewhere. Go 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 go! Ah, that wasn't it. Come on, Makoto, don't clam up now. Shoot. Shoot. Okay. Dang. I was getting cocky. I've already lost a heart, and I'm like probably barely so into this. Who killed her? Okay, well, let's check the other things. Whoever did it is the same one who's behind everything. I am sure it, it's got to be sure. the control room. So if it's not that, it, then it must be... Of course, Hold on. What makes you so sure? Um, exactly. You're just making stuff the mastermind is probably... Oh, oh it was probably that one. one. Okay, so I know which... At least I have a feeling of which one it is. So who did it? Whoever did it is just that much. I've when you is the mastermind. Of course, they have to be here. What makes you so? Um, exactly. You're just making stuff up. There's no way the mastermind is here. The mastermind is probably a million. Miles. There we go. Okay, a little bit of a slip up, but I'm still going. There's no question that the mastermind is somewhere within the school. How do you know? Did you find some evidence or something? I can't believe Hina didn't say anything center, about that at all. I found a panel that controls Monokuma. I told her about that. She knows. The mastermind must have been using that to control him all this time. So there can't be any doubt. The mastermind has been inside the school all along. There can't be any doubt. In which case... There also can be no doubt that the mastermind bum, bum, bum. is one of us. Creepy music. What? Why? Recall what Makoto told us Monokuma said to him earlier. Man, nothing gets past Byakia, does it? I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. So if the mastermind is in the school, we have to assume it can only be that 16th student. But how'd they manage to survive all of this? So we're the only ones here? It's not me! I'm not the mastermind! I believe that, Hero, unless you are very good at playing dumb. Well, it's not me! I blame Makoto! Ah, God damn it! What? Why me? <laughs> It's super weird how you're the only one who survived being executed. Okay, that's actually not a bad point that Toko raised. Oh, I get it. The only way he could have survived is if he was actually the master. Dang himself, Toko right? and her logic. Aw, nuts! Yeah, got me. What? Wait. What hey, no, 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 Monokuma. You're not supposed to be lying about stuff. Everyone, calm down. There's no reason to panic. You're supposed to be fair. The mastermind's true identity will become clear soon enough. Just as soon as we find out who killed Mukuro. That's a good point. Rather than wasting time bickering, we should put our minds to work solving this mystery. Yeah, well, how much time have we already spent talking about the murder? He's right. What more is there to talk about? If you want something to talk about, I think there might be one thing. There are so many things we could talk about right now. We haven't fully established what Mukuro's fatal injury was. Okay, we're going back to the small stuff here. Huh? But I thought we figured that out. She died when she got hit in the back of the head. No, that isn't actually what killed her. It was something entirely different. Wouldn't you agree, Makoto? Ah, uh, I feel like we did talk about this, but I don't know exactly what did kill her. Mukuro's actual cause of death must have been... 
Uh, I think Kyoko said something about the other wounds because I said that they were like old wounds and she was like, well, they're old, but they're not. It doesn't mean that they're super old. I got it. Oh, good. <laughs> All of the wounds covering her body. That's what really killed her. Hey, now hold on a second. You did read the Monokuma file, right? The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. It made it pretty clear. Those wounds were made at least a few days ago. So they can't possibly be what killed her. Consider this. What if the murder itself took place at least a yeah, few days Yeah, and that ago? way, so she got killed earlier. She got shoved in the freezer to keep her body fresh. And then someone took her out and put her there for us to find. What? What if, when we discovered her body, she'd already been dead for several days? If that's true, then naturally the wounds that killed her would appear to be however many days old. Th that doesn't make any sense. Because... Because she had all th those wounds before she ever came here. What? Huh? How do you know that? Isn't it obvious? She was the ultimate soldier, right? So that means... Y you know... You're wrong. <laughs> she <laughs> denied me. Oh, God. Oh, she likes that. Before I could even say anything. <laughs> oh, God. I work not great. Weird, okay? I'm just like, I'm skipping that. I don't want to hear her make those noises anymore. Before you deny me. If you're so sure we're going to deny you, why bother saying it in the first place? Well, duh, she gets off on it, Makoto. Come on, catch up, dude. Oh my god, man, oh man. They are really throwing stuff out there for this last one, huh? Mukuro was the ultimate soldier. She must have been in a hundred different battles. So, when you think about it, obviously, she got all of those wounds in battle. Oh god, it's spinning and hurting my head. <laughs> you didn't deny me this time. <sighs> you made me go all cutesy. Okay, Don't so... Worry. There wasn't anything... Well, let's check in that case. So, the other ones, I'm assuming it's her profile, because the other ones, I can't see how, what that would have to do with anything. Oh, okay, there we go. According to the Headmaster's report, Mukuro did not have a single scar or wound when she came to Hope's Peak Academy. Alright, so... I think I have an idea which one to pick in that case. No, those wounds didn't come from the battlefield. One look at what was written about her and that should become clear. I already beat you to the punch, Makoto, but thank you for basically telling me exactly what to look at. She must have been in a hundred different battles. So, when you think about it... Okay, there's one coming up here. Alright, sweet. No, Mukuro didn't suffer those wounds in battle. The file we found in the headmaster's room said as much. Despite the time she spent in battle after battle as a member of Fenrir, when she entered this school, she hadn't sustained a single injury. So he denied completely. <laughs> Stop. Stop smiling. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, maybe it's because of all of Master's training. Uh, yeah, just stay out of it, Biakia. Anyway, for the best. <laughs> so we can be sure that Mukuro suffered all those wounds after coming to this school. In which case, they could be the very thing that killed her. As a matter of fact, it's hard to imagine any other possibility. When examining her body, I found that her stomach and head wounds came after she was already dead. Unless anyone has any better suggestions, I think we can say this with confidence. The wounds Mukuro sustained all over her body are what ultimately killed her. So now we have to figure out how she died. Okay. Yeah, I'm wondering what could cause all those. But if that's what killed her, then does that mean she's really been dead for who knows how long? That's exactly what it means. When we found her body in the garden, she'd already been dead for several days. So then, what about the little matter of what happened last night? Makoto, you said you were attacked in your room. Oh, by yeah, there's that assailant. whole thing, too. 
If Mukuro had already been dead for several oh, days, once again, I'm just like, it couldn't have been her. I feel like I've got nowhere so far in figuring anything out. So who was it that attacked you? Okay, the identity of the one who attacked me, I can't think of anything else. Okay, so it's... Okay, so it can't be Mukuro, because she's dead. Headmaster is probably already dead, so it's gotta be the Mastermind. I got it. Yay! The one who attacked me was the true Mastermind. When we discovered Mukuro in the garden wearing the same mask, I naturally assumed she must have been the one who attacked me. But I was wrong. It wasn't her at all. It was the mastermind. <laughs> well, what are you laughing at? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting a little impatient sitting here listening. I think I'm gonna jump in. Okay. What do you have to say? Let's start off with a nice, easy question. Your assumption that I attacked Makoto is just that, right? An assumption. You can't really know who was under that mask, can you? I mean, that's the whole point of a mask. The true identity of the masked attacker is Mukuro Ikusaba. At least, that's what I think. No, Monica was just trying to confuse us. <laughs> Do you have any evidence that might convince me otherwise? No, there's no way Mukuro is the one that attacked me. Even if I didn't see their face. Mukuro had a very obvious Fenrir tattoo. Comparing that to the masked attacker, it should be obvious. Okay, so only getting one of these. So, <laughs> given the fact that I was getting five selections before, I'm assuming I have to do the uh, flash back thingy. But let's check out Monokuma File 5 first, just to be sure. Uh, nah, not really telling me anything I don't already know. You now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba! You're wrong. Even without seeing their face, there's another part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't her. Oh? And what is this other part? Is it the right hand? Or the left hand? Oh no. Maybe the right foot. Oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Crap. Ah. Okay. Let's check out her profile. I can't remember. Oh no. Oh yeah, it was the right hand, I think? Yes. Or perhaps the left hand. I know it's not the feet, obviously. Could it be the Monokuma's just trying to confuse me right now. Okay, let's hope I'm right, and then so I definitely do have to do the uh, I've got to do the bullet thing. Now it's just a matter of which which way to do it. I'm gonna try it this way first, and if not this way, I'll just flip it. There's another part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't her. Oh? Okay. Let's hope I'm right. Part? Is it the right hand? No, no, no. Ah! I did it again. Hand? I'm so bad at these. Or perhaps, or could it be the I've got to learn to just not hold triangle. I'm so bad about that. That's what, one of the reasons I hate these. Okay, well, let's try doing the Mukuro Ikusaba so one then. Who was under that mask? I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba! Ah, no, I got. Err. You're wrong. Even if there is another part of the attack. Oh? Is it the right or the left hand? Sorry, Maybe guys. Right I'm so sorry. You know I'm bad at these. <laughs> you know I'm bad at these. Okay. You never saw I really hope there aren't too many of these in the trial. So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusama. Oh, it did it again. You're wrong. Okay, fine. Let's try. Let's try this face. one then, There's like I was gonna do originally, because I'm seeming to have a really hard time doing that oh? one. And what is this other 
this other part? Is it the Okay, right X man? triangle. Don't hold triangle. Oh god, no, there we go. So I had it right the first time. <sighs> oh, that was frustrating. That was frustrating. Mugaro had a tattoo on her right hand, if I remember correctly. Oh, I'm glad I got the right hand as well. A representation of Fenrir. In other words, a wolf tattoo. But I saw the right hand of the person who attacked me. And there was no such tattoo. So there's no way the person behind the mask was Mukuro. Yeah, well, okay. oh. you got me. I guess it wasn't her. Ah, got you for once, Monokuma. But that still doesn't prove that it was me. It could have been, you know, someone else, right? Oh, he's grasping for straws now. Yo, got him Toko, on the ropes. Dina and I all have solid alibis for that entire night. Yeah, we were in the gym tearing you apart, so it could have been any of us. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sure. So the only other you. person it could be is Kyoko or someone else. Or he's probably gonna say, but yeah. Kyoko? It totally could have been her. Stop trying to make me doubt Kyoko. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not falling for it. Uh -oh. Now Kyoko no is my comeback. my brosis. If you insist, I don't mind showing you. Huh? Oh. Oh, is she gonna show us her hands because her hands are all effed up? What do you think? I'll show you the one thing that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt it wasn't me. Before anyone could say anything. Kyoko was removing her gloves. Your hands! Without thinking, I let out a gasp. It was more than just a little burned skin. Awful, isn't it? It happened when I was first learning to be a detective. I was inexperienced. I thought you didn't want anyone to see those scars. If it means we get another step closer to unmasking the mastermind, it doesn't really bother me. Kyoko seemed to savor the words as she said them. Then she put her gloves back on. My scars should suffice as proof. I do kind of like that they didn't actually show us her hands, just Makoto, leave it to the imagination, the you know? the person who attacked you have scars like mine? No, not at all. I'm positive. Then this much has been made clear. There can be no doubt that Makoto the one attacked, attacked himself. Makoto is the true mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> this is just awful! On top of my secret being revealed, I had to look at those positively grotesque scars of yours. Uh, sorry, did I say that out loud? I do hope I didn't hurt your feelings. Not at all. You can say whatever you want. Sure, as long as it means pushing me farther into the corner, right? All right, what have you got up your sleeve, my Mon yet. Monokuma? Because if you haven't noticed, the circumstances surrounding Mukuro's death are totally unknown. That's true. All we know right now is she was killed a good while before this morning. <sighs> so we have to figure out how she died. On the contrary, we don't know anything other than that. You're not going to tell us she was already dead before we arrived here or something, are you? <laughs> In that regard, you have nothing to worry about. I promise you, without a doubt, she died after our little killing game began here. Then somehow, she was killed in secret without any of us knowing. And after she died, who knows how much time went by before we found her, right? Did the culprit stash her somewhere? She couldn't have been in the garden the whole time, no, could I'm, she? Like I said, I'm positive that she must have been put in uh, the freezer because otherwise she would have been, well, depending on how long she was killed, you know, we would be able to tell that it wasn't a fresh death. If she was, she would have or been totally decomposed. Decomposed, Just yeah. Like your brain. Then she was being stored somewhere? But to hide a body here, to just store it somewhere? There's only one place. I can't think of anywhere else the body could have been stored. <laughs> the kitchen. Ugh. I got it! Mukuro's body was probably kept hidden in the bio lab. Bio lab? Oh, and the other thing you about the bio lab, the too, is... Floor? Um, 
none of us would have been able to get in because you needed the um, the special pass to get in. So that it, so all of us That's right. are it's actually innocent, at least, hopefully. So it's the perfect place to hide a body, and it'd keep the body preserved at the same time. Then you're also saying the body was moved from the bio lab to the garden. And I have no doubt that that's exactly what happened. In fact, I have proof. The proof that shows the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden. There's something that made its way from the bio lab. Okay, uh, it was the heart. Well, there we go. It says bio lab right there. That's nice and easy. I got it. What makes me so sure the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden is the tarp that we found in the garden. When I was checking it over again, I noticed something. I noticed that some text had been stamped on one corner of the tarp. Oh, it says bio lab. Holy cow! How'd you notice that tiny little thing? Makoto's nitpicky nature seems to have surfaced. Oh, with Biakia, yeah, you. You give me crap, but you're just, uh, you're probably a little salty that you didn't see that. This proves that the tarp originally came from the bio lab. In fact, there's a whole stack of tarps just like it in there. So when the killer moved the body to the garden, they must have grabbed a tarp to wrap it in. Then they simply left it as it was to protect against the sprinklers and put the coat on it afterwards. Wow, you made everything sound so amazingly consistent. But man, that's just a uh -huh. wild guess. Yeah, we got you, corn now. Where's your evidence? Prove that the body was wrapped in a tarp and moved. There is no evidence. I was simply explaining what I think happened. But the fact that you are so antsy about it means that we are on the right path. But you seem to be getting pretty worked up ah, about it. Ah, yes, Kyoko. That's exactly what I said. Worked up. Now that the conversation has turned to the topic of the bio lab, you must be getting pretty nervous. Because the key to uncovering your secret identity is hidden within that room, isn't it? It oh, what? Are you talking about unmasking the mastermind? You see, the bio lab contained an inconsistency. Oh One so major. Duh, that's right. The the bodies. There was there wasn't the there wasn't the amount of bodies that there should have been in there, right? An inconsistency in the bio lab. Could you be talking about? Such a child. Oh well, just ignore him. <laughs> Monokuma's got no poker face at all. I need to pull myself together and think. The inconsistency in the bio lab. Could you be talking about? Hey, by the way, Makoto, what about that one thing? What one thing? No, he's trying to sidetrack you. Stop it. <laughs> What do you think I'm talking about? Your family. What? Oh, now he's reaching here. <laughs> Don't tell me you forgot about that video message. So what do you think? Are you sure your family's still okay? Why are you bringing that up? Now? Oh, come on. You got to know why he's doing this. Your mom, your dad, your little sister. What do you think has happened to your family? Are they really as safe as you might have assumed? Stop talking about that. Calm down, Makoto. He wants you to get upset. Just got to focus. If we do this, then you get to go free. I can't let him get to me. He's just saying that because he knows we're getting close to the truth of the bio lab. So if I want to shut him up, I need to expose the inconsistency and slam him with it. The inconsistency has to be that one area where the numbers just don't match up. That's right. Right, right, right. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Sorry, I just really want to make sure I get this right, considering this is the last one. I don't want to fail. Okay. Sure about this? That's impossible! Are you sure about this? That's impossible! What? What do you want? Are you 
sure about this? That's impossible! Are you sure about this? Prove, prove, prove! Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Here we go, here we go. Okay. I'm not listening! What? Uh, 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 how do I? How do I? How do I? Wait! Oh no! What did I do? Oh no! Are you sure about uh, this? Oh uh, no! Uh, what did I do? I didn't pick the right thing? I forgot about that. Shoot! Oh man, I thought I had it. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, use the L1 button. I am so sorry. Shoot, 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 shoot. I gotta start all over again. Crap. Okay. Okay, I can recover from this. I got it. Okay. I'm not listening. Oh, biolab lights. Uh, go, go. This should prove oh. oh. <laughs> wow, that, uh, that was stressful. The inconsistency Kyoko's talking about is the lights. <sighs> okay, just gotta calm down. My heart is just beating so fast right now. I was like, no, don't make me have to do this over again. What, what are you talking about? Uh, what about the lights? Like I said before, the bio lab also acts as a morgue. And as part of that, a giant refrigerator was installed in there. That's where everyone who's died is stored. And it was set up so that when a slot had a body in it, a blue light would turn on. In other words, if the blue light is on, that means there's a body in that slot. Okay. But Are I we finally getting the number of blue lights that were on, including the one Mukuro was in? Okay, so are we finally get to figure out like Oh, I'm so like pumped right now. And there were only nine. Why does that matter? You gotta give me the bite-sized version. Oh here, my man. god, hero. Nine lights doesn't make sense. The number of lights should be uh it's ten. I got it. Ten of the lights should have been on. Any other number is incredibly suspicious. Suspicious? Oh my god. Everyone is like three steps behind me. Come on, guys. Catch up. That's simple. Just recall who's died here so far, and it should become clear. That's right. That's the key to solving this mystery. Sayaka died first. Junko was second. Leon was third. Chihiro was fourth. Mondo was fifth. Taka was sixth, then Hifumi was seventh. Celeste was eighth. Sakura was ninth. And victim number ten was Mukuro. Hmm. So ten people in all? That's right. Any other number should make you immediately suspicious. <sighs> but according to the lights in the bio lab, only nine people were being stored there. You're seeing a dead body just up and disappeared? Uh, come on. I got it. The mastermind destroyed one of the bodies to get rid of evidence. I feel like we're so close. We're so close, guys. But if they wanted to do that, they would have destroyed Mukuro's body since they actually killed her. And yet, her body was left alone. Then, whose body disappeared? It may very well be. That none of them disappear. Wait, what? But if that's true, then why doesn't the body count match? Including Monokuma's execution. There have apparently okay. been ten deaths, but there were only nine bodies. That's the point I'm trying to make. I'm completely lost. Oh. Uh, How can the number Kino, of I feel the same way. The number of murders? The reason there are less bodies than murders. The explanation for more murders than victims. Why is that? Yes, why is that? Why would it take... What would it... Okay. Okay. The mastermind destroyed a body. Okay, so... Um, Kyoko said that that... That shouldn't be the case, because then Mukuro's body would have been destroyed. Only nine murders took place. Or the same person was killed twice. What? 
Okay. Ah, uh, well, considering we've counted all 10 of the supposed murders that happened. Uh, sure, we're gonna go with this. Hopefully the game will tell me what the hell's going on. Okay, that's right. The same person was killed twice. All right, game, you better explain yourself, because I don't understand. Killed twice? Officially, 10 murders have been committed so far. But one of the victims may have been murdered, and then murdered again. Murdered and murdered again? If that's the case, there could have been 10 killings, okay. but still only 9 victims, right? <sighs> Technically, you're right, I guess. Still, something like that could easily have happened. No, no, it is it what happened. Is what happened. <laughs> okay, Kyoko, can you tell me? <laughs> Sounds like you're already Yeah, convinced. come on. Kyoko seems to know what she's talking about. Please. Twice? Yes, yes. Please do. Please do. It was Mukuro, of course. What? Before she was killed as Mukuro Ikusaba, she was killed as someone what? else. What? And that's why the body had to be stored in the bio lab until the moment we found it in the garden. What? <laughs> Mukuro was killed twice. No, 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 that's crazy talk. She was killed as someone else? Come on! Besides, who could that someone else even have been? All you have to do is look at those bodily injuries of hers, and that will become obvious. Wait, what? Okay. Nothing's gonna become obvious! Because Kyoko's totally delusional. We're obviously on the right path here, so okay, we gotta look at the injuries. Okay, oh, we're so close, guys. So something at least, to figuring out something. Who is this someone else that Mukuro was killed as? Was it Sayaka? Oh no, we have to go through all of them. Junko Enoshima, Leon Kuwata, Chihiro Fujisaki, Manjo Owada, Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Okay, so Yamata, it's gotta be Celestia Lu, whatever. <laughs> or okay. maybe Sakura Ogami. No, no, no. Okay. There's no way anyone was murdered twice. All right, so I have a feeling once again it's uh, one of those things because whenever it's it's always the same thing. It's always the Monokuma file, so it, that usually means that it's gonna be the the other thing I have to do, which sucks because I hate doing those. Okay, Mukuro died from the wound she had all over her body. Wasn't there someone else who suffered this? Thing? No way! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, Junko. Because I'm thinking about it right now, too. We investigated all of the bodies. We got to actually, like... I'm pretty sure we got to actually, like, investigate the bodies. So we would have realized pretty quickly if they weren't who... So it's got to be a girl, first of all. If it was Mukuro, to, um, who is... Hold on, guys. My head just exploded. Okay. All right, I got to run this down. Okay, so... It's got to be a girl, because Mukuro was disguised as them then it would be too obvious that they were a guy. And we investigated all of the bodies, except for Junko's. Cause like, she just got killed by Monokuma, and then like, her body just got taken away, and we never got to like, really look at it. And she got killed by all the spikes, which would make sense cause she got killed by a bunch of wounds. Oh my god. Is that it? Is that it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was it? Sayaka Maizono. Okay. Junko Enoshima. Leon Kuwata. Oh, I wonder. Mondo, Kiyotaka, I'm Ishimaru, looking again. Okay, so that's a guy. Yamada, that's a guy. Celestia Lu, whatever. She was killed by an execution. Or maybe Sakura Ogami. No, no, no. There's no way anyone was murdered. Yeah. Oh! No, it's wrong. Oh my god, I got it. It's Junko. What? Junko. <sighs> Wasn't her fatal injury pretty similar to Mukuro's? What do you mean? Well, 
remember what happened to her? She was impaled by a bunch of spears. I completely forgot fire. about Junko. Like, she was just such a... She was just gone so quickly that I just like, oh yeah, that's right. We never got to investigate her body. We never got to... And she never had an execution. So we never... Yeah. When you compare that to the stab wounds Junko suffered... Then the similarities My head is spinning right now. Yes, and those are the only fatal injuries that match up. That explains why those two bodies are actually one and the same. So let me see if I have this straight. I'm sorry if I'm being quiet. I'm just like, what has just happened? Junko, or someone going by that name, was stabbed to death with multiple spears. Then her body was kept in the bio lab for however long before being dragged out again. Okay. Only this time, it was presented as the corpse of one Mukuro Ikusaba. It all matches up, right? Those wounds Junko suffered could easily be these same injuries. Okay, so they're saying that... Okay, so Mukuro did die. I'm so confused. So, uh, so that was Mukuro's body, so she's... Because she has the tattoo. So, Jun... Uh, what? <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm so confused. So they disguised Mukuro as Junko, killed her, and then put the body away. So Junko is still alive? Or was she even there? It's really true? Mukuro and Junko are the same person? Wait, so then... Oh, Hiro! I know! I know, dude! I'm on the exact same, like, level with you right now. It means that there haven't been ten victims, but nine. Which also means that among the people we thought were dead, one is still alive. And that's the true identity of the master. No way, no way. Who is it? Who's behind all this? We already know the answer to that. It's Mukuro. She's still alive. No, but it can't be Mukuro, because like I said, she the, the body had the tattoo on the hand, unless they somehow gave her a tat I don't know. I don't know. She took Junko's body and made it look like she was the one who died. Uh, so Mukuro is still alive. She's gotta be. A little silence, then I'm no. Must be right. I'm right, aren't I? No, it's. I think it's the other way around, isn't it? Mukuro alive. The one that's alive is Mukuro, but can we really believe that? No, there's no way. There's no way Mukuro Ikusaba is still alive. Although I gotta wonder, like, who in the world, like, if... Mukuro is the ultimate soldier for her to be taken down like that. The body was found in the garden. It wasn't Mukuro. Then she's still alive? This one's That's short, right. at least. She made it look like Junko's body was her! So the mastermind's true identity is... Mukuro! Okay. What do you say, Monokuma? Do you give up? This one's short, but it's tricky. Because... Oh, okay. For that to be true, then that couldn't have been her body we found in the garden. Isn't... Is that really possible? All right, let me look over the evidence here. Okay, so there's the profile and there's the fatal injury. All right, let me check. I'll check the Monokuma file as well, but... Okay, uh, profile. Oh! Oh, that's why. The corpse matches the characteristics. Okay, so it's just a matter of um, where Is I. She still alive? Okay, so we've got. We want to make That's sure we have the right, right. one pick. So she the made profile. It look like body was her. So the mastermind's true identity is Mukuro. Okay. I think it's. Uh, I think it's. Hold on. Uh, I think it's when. Hold on. At the beginning. Please be right, please be right. Please. Go, 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 go. Yeah! Woo! Oh, 
The body we found in the garden was Mukuro. That's one thing we can be sure of. Slowly, slowly, we're starting to figure things out. Consistent with her records. Right, Kyoko? She was five foot six inches tall and weighed 97 pounds. Her vitals were 31, 21, 32. Everything in her profile is consistent with that course. So we've got it flipped. It's the other way around. And then there's the from what Toko said. Tattoo. So there's no question it's her. But, but Come on, Toko. Use your friend. brain. If it's not Mukuro, like then it's alive. Junko. Someone's made it look like they died, but they're actually still alive. There's only one person it could be. All right, guys. I mean... We- we know who it is, but I still- <laughs> what? Never did Here's I think it answer. would- it would be- this is how this would Junko end. Is still alive. It's the only possibility. I had no idea who the mastermind could have been, but I would not have thought that it would be someone that- from like the very beginning of the game that I forgot about. Are you sure about that? No, Byakuya. No, don't make me doubt. Huh? I was so sure. I admit, since Mukuro is undoubtedly dead, Junko does seem to be the only other explanation. Don't tell me you still think I did it, somehow. But we saw her get impaled. She died right before our very eyes. Death we saw would had to have been some kind of charade. But you affirmed she was dead, did you not? Now that you mention it, I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse like they do in movies and stuff, but... She really is dead. Man, this was so long ago. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. I did check, absolutely, and I can say for sure... She was dead. There's no question. If only we had Junko had Kyoko check the body to be sure. So... Oh no. So I got all hyped up and I'm not right? It must be wrong. Then you're withdrawing your previous statement? Oh man, <laughs> I thought we were so uh, I thought I was finally getting somewhere. I know you gave it your best Although the fact shot, that Monokuma is so happy about me doubting myself that. makes me think maybe I'm I'm still right. I'm just waiting for Come on, Kyoko. <laughs> Step too in and say bad, something, too please. Bad. This case hasn't been Dad, decided yes. just yet. I always know she's gonna step in just when I, like, think I've, you know, I've lost. You haven't given up already, have you, Makoto? Huh? No, of course not. There's no way I'd give up that easy. That's all well and good, but how do you intend to solve the problem standing in your way? Junko absolutely died. <sighs> Mukuro absolutely died. Then both of them are dead, right? There can't be any kind of survivor story. I think we need to look at this from the opposite direction. Huh? The opposite direction? Let's assume Junko is still alive. If so, how could she have survived? That is a very good question. How could Junko have survived? I checked her. She was dead, I'm sure of it. But still, if she were alive somehow, could it be that Junko's not the one that died? Oh man, it's, what? I'm so confused right now. I thought I had it, and now I have more questions. It wasn't Junko, but someone else entirely. What? Oh boy, okay, well... I guess we got to get into this a little bit more then. Maybe she used some sort of trick. Uh RPC R uh I'm just gonna put words. Words. Re oh, replaced. But who did was she replaced with? Come 
on, give me that. <laughs> I was gonna say, give me the D, but uh, that sounds pretty wrong. <laughs> now I understand. That's it. What if she switched places with someone else? Switched places? I'm lost all over again. That's right. Before the spears could kill her, she got someone to take her place. Specifically, Mukuro Ikusaba. Then that would make it Mukuro's corpse that showed up later. Which is why the body's height and weight and everything matches okay. Mukuro's profile, right? I don't know anything about this switching places thing, but... That had to be Junko who got stabbed to death, right? Yeah, you're saying they switched? When could they even have done that? Right when she was uh, about to die? Like she used some kind of ninja replacement technique? Good point. There's just no way they could have switched like that. So maybe the whole idea is wrong. No, 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 no. We're on the right path here. There has to be some way. I need to figure out how to explain how they could have switched. Uh, okay. Af after death, uh, n no. No, uh, well, we just established that there's no way that could happen, so it has to be at the beginning. Because now that you think about it, we never did see Mukuro, did we? I got it. The two of them may have switched places from the very beginning. It just seems so weird that, like, if she was- if Mukuro was part of this game, the fact that, like, at the very beginning, never saw her. What? Right? From the beginning? Yes, from the moment we first met. If that's when they switch... Then they wouldn't have had to switch at the moment of death, right? After all, the one we saw at that point would have already been Mukuro. Uh, hold on. So, you're saying the Junko we first met... ...was actually Mukuro all along? But why would Mukuro agree to that? Conversation with her. When we first met, none of us knew who anyone was. Well, except the was. thing is, Junko is like a. Uh, she's like a celebrity. She's a model, so people would know who she is, though, right? So Mukuro could have simply told us her name was Junko, and we never would have known the difference. That would easily allow the two of them to switch places from the very beginning. Wait! Mukuro had a tattoo on the back mm, of her head, right? True, true. Junko never had any tattoo like that, did she? She could have hidden it with foundation or something like that. If she did, it likely melted away in the explosion, exposing the tattoo after oh, the body okay. was extinguished. Plus, there were the fake nails found on the hands of That's Mukuro's true, body. too! There was never explanation about why she had the fake nails. They oh my the god! the fake red nails she was wearing when we all met for the first time. Wow, it's been so long, like, since I've seen Junko, I didn't even make that connection. But... if she really did use foundation... Correct. Even if there was no tattoo on her hand, I couldn't say for certain it wasn't Mukuro. So I'm glad nobody noticed that glaring hole when we were trying to figure out who attacked Makoto. But too bad for you, Monokuma. No, oh, ho, ho, ho. Kyoko knew the whole time, and she just kept quiet. Wait, so Man, she is so many steps ahead. Set up from the very beginning? If that's true, it was quite an elaborate plan to be sure. Making it look like Mukuro was Junko. The reason such an elaborate plan was possible is because the two of them were working together. So Mukuro, the ultimate despair, teamed up with someone like her. In other words, it would be fair to say that Junko herself was also the ultimate but despair. But once again, I'm... <sighs> why would... Why would Mukuro agree to that? I guess because she is the ultimate despair, but I'm guessing she got betrayed and killed and she wasn't expecting- I don't know. What's wrong? Lost the will to fight back? 
I think he's just afraid. Afraid? What's that mean, afraid? Fear is only possible where hope is possible. I only have despair, so fear is an alien concept to me. Then why haven't you been saying anything? Because it's a bunch of nonsense. Junko is my secret identity. <laughs> As if. Then why did you try and protect Junko's real identity? I tried to protect her identity. When did I do that? Yeah. So he still refuses to admit it, but he can try to deceive us all he wants. It doesn't matter. Because I've already figured it out. He tried to uh, hide Junko's identity, and not just once, but twice. The first time was during our latest investigation. Oh, uh, okay. Alright, let me just go through it again. Okay, so no, no. Oh yeah, there was this notebook as well. And then there was this one. Despair walks among us, and so we survive. There's a second despair. Is that it? <sighs> but he wasn't really trying to hide that from us. Well, I guess he kind of... Uh, I don't know. The group photo? Oh! Hold on. You can't see Junko's face in the picture. At least I'm pretty sure you can't. I'm gonna pick this one. Oh. Okay. Dang it. Alright, that wasn't it. Okay. So it's not that one then. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Okay. Whew. While I was in the AV room, watching the DVD of our interviews with the Headmaster. It wasn't just the monitor, the DVD player itself had apparently turned off. Which of course meant that the DVD wasn't playing anymore. What the heck just happened? Oopsie, looks like it broke, out of service. What? It just so happened to break just now? Now then, when doesn't matter. Failure can strike anywhere, anytime. That's what failure is, right? You made sure I couldn't finish watching the video. And the reason you did that is because you didn't want me to see no. the real Junko, did you? Do we get to do we get to meet the real Junko? Oh yeah. If everyone was in that video, of course. Yeah, Junko now I'm thinking about it. I got to see pretty much everyone except Junko, I think. Or there's a couple of people I didn't and see. If Makoto saw the real Junko, it would have been totally obvious that the Junko we met was an imposter. The that whole power outage thing was just mm -hmm. a fluke. I'm sure it was. No, it wasn't a fluke. The mastermind definitely orchestrated that power outage. And that's not the only time they tried to hide Junko's identity. The mastermind tried to cover up one other piece of evidence. I've got to reveal that. No, oh, I gotta do this again. Okay, I have to remember, press L1 this time. <laughs> he can't even words right now. He's just like, ah. What? What do you want? What? What do you want? Are you sure about this? You're getting all riled up! That's impossible! Okay. That's impossible! Uh... uh. Oh, duh, 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 that, 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 group photo, that was the, that was the first one I picked. Whew, okay. 
redeemed myself somewhat from the last failure. The video wasn't the only thing you tried to cover up. You did the same thing with this group photo. Uh, uh oh. I noticed it just a little while ago when we were all comparing the photos we got. In all the photos, there's a certain similarity, an unusual circumstance. What's so unusual about them? The unusual circumstance common to all these pictures. Yeah, I can't see her face. The unusual circumstance is... I got it. Oh, got all my Jesus hearts back. Face. Awesome. The one thing common to every single photo is that you can't see her face. It's hard to believe her face would just happen to be hidden in every single picture, don't you think? And on top of that, I didn't even photo, notice you that. Can see that Mukuro is clearly visible. So in other words, at that point, the two of them hadn't switched yet. With all that in mind, there's no doubt. Oh yeah, now I can really here, Now that I can see Mukuro and Juke like I see it now, I Okay. Which is why you had to have pictures that didn't show her face. Because if we could have seen her face, then it would have clearly revealed that the Junko in the pictures wasn't the Junko that we knew. Xanadu! <laughs> I believe everything Makoto said is true. Oh, um, I learned from the best, Kyoko. Junko and Mukuro switched places before we met either of them. So she killed Mukuro, who had taken her place, making it look like she died. And the real Junko. So was Mukuro just uh, as like an ultimate despair? Was she just willing to allow herself to be killed? Is still alive. And she's the one behind this whole murderous situation. This killing game. So we finally have come down to it. We know for sure now. She's the true mastermind and the ultimate despair. Yay, I finally have an answer to something. <laughs> there are so many other questions I have though. With this, the identity and the crimes of the mastermind have been exposed. No, no, wait, hold on. Don't bother trying to deny it. There's no more room for debate. You don't have anywhere left to run. I'll prove everything. Uh, right now. Ah, uh, all right. So does that mean I'm, uh, I won't come to the end here? That's right, I never got to do this with the last one. Okay. <laughs> oh God, my coach is looking at her boobs. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so that's then Juko gets killed. Oh, okay, so that's her pulling. I think that's her pulling it out of the freezer, so placing her down, grabbing the knife. But then Kyoko shows up. Oh no, that's right. She Oh, okay. Hold on. So she saw she saw it and then she Oh crap. There's a couple here. I'm a little confused about. Okay. Oh, there's a couple with uh, with the body here. Okay, maybe this one. All right, so back at the garden. All right. Okay, maybe. Oh, this one is, uh, this one's tough. Okay. 
I'm not quite sure what's happening in this picture here. Oh, I feel like I've got a lot wrong here. Okay, is that her trying to take the mask off? Oh my god, this one. Okay, so this one I'm pretty sure is this one here. So this is the body afterwards exploded. I'm sorry if this is taking me a while. This one is, uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these. This is pretty tricky. Okay, I think this might be... Okay, uh, let's... Okay, so that's them finding the body, because I think this is her taking the mask off? Okay, let's... Okay, I hope, I hope I've got you. at least some of these right. We met the ultimate fashionista, Junko and Oshima, right after we all arrived here. But that wasn't the real Junko. The girl we saw before us was actually the 16th student who had taken Junko's place. And that girl's name was Mukuro Ikusawa. But it wasn't long before she died at the hands of Monokuma. In other words, the mastermind? It's still pretty crazy to me that Mukuro, like, willingly, I assume, willingly let herself get killed? Junko and Oshima. Okay, got that run right. Kept in a bio lab, which had been converted into a morgue until Junko decided to put her body to use. Junko dragged the body out of the bio lab, using the tarp to carry her to the garden. She fabricated the murder to try and frame Kyoko, who proven to be one big thorn in her side. Meanwhile, she wanted us all to think Mukuro was still alive and hiding somewhere inside the school. Okay, that's right. Oh, good. So she put on a mask and then attacked me. After making sure I'd gotten a good look at the mask, she left the room. Oh, all right, then doing she well put so the far. Same mask on Mukuro's body. This was all to make us think the person who attacked me and the corpse were one and the same. She wanted us to believe the murder had only recently taken place. Man, this is a lot of planning gone into this from the very beginning. That's crazy. Oh, so I got them all right. Woohoo! By strapping a bomb to the body. I am shocked. I thought for sure I would have gotten at least a few wrong there because that one was uh, that one was tricky. She needed to hide the body's true identity. She had to make sure we didn't find out it was actually the same person we met in the beginning. This is the truth behind Mukuro's murder, and the one who carried it all out is the I wonder true for, master. I hope we actually get to meet the, the real Junko. Monokuma. But Junko did say, or I guess Monokuma said, who's Junko? I, I don't know that they would execute themselves if we got it right. The real Junko and Oshima. Whether she actually does That's that the whole story is another story. Well, what do you have to say to that? But I feel like he did say that we had to find out all of the mysteries of the school and there's still so many things like the headmaster and why we were he brought here in the first place and there's still so many things that I don't know. What? Are you broken again? You can't get out of this, so don't even try. Come on! It's time you finally revealed yourself! It's not like you're an endangered species or something. How long do you plan to keep hiding? Come on, say something. Give it up, Junko. The game's over. Over? Oh. <laughs> I should have known it wasn't going to be that easy. Did you really think the story would end once we reach the climax of the case? Of course not. Wrong. There's still plenty uh, more to go. Of course, of course. I uh, like I said there are still so many things that we don't know yet. Oh. 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 
bum bum bum. The real Junko appears. <laughs>